These are my hands. Hello, this is live. So this is going to be really fun. So I'm going to teach you just a couple of simple techniques and your whole job today is to experiment and have fun. I do this with all of my students the very first day because it gets them off of devices. It gets them off of the flat things. So now I'm just going to cut like just kind of an organic shape. By cutting and bending, I move something from being flat into a three dimension. And that's what's really powerful. We're going to do this all together. Challenge yourself to just be present and actually build for 10 minutes. You're gonna be doing this with hundreds of other people. And then we're all gonna share what we did at the end. As we're working, we have some fun special guests we're gonna to talk to, and we're gonna give some ideas on how you can actually incorporate this into your instructions. It's happening. Michael, what are you making? What are you gonna start it with? So I'm a high school teacher and everybody's into retro analog. So I'm making a mixtape. So this is my first start of the mixtape. So here we go. I am building a uh, speaker to go with it with a little uh, tweaker on top and a bass on the bottom. And I'm making them Ooh. pop up so that the vibrations will work. I've got like a, a dowel in the middle to oh. hold on both my tail so hold and my head. When my students make something like that, we think about what is our perspective around what the person has created? What if you hold it up above your head? What does it look like? We can start to think like, how can we add to it? How can our pieces work together? We're going to share what we have on the Padlet. We want to see what everyone else has done. There are some amazing things on here. So that's incredible. You guys are so incredible. There are so many ways you can incorporate this into your instruction um, and share this out. This doesn't have to be something that happens only in a physical, like in an actual classroom. It can happen in distance learning as well. My big thing is creating your own AR and VR assets so that you don't have to spend a fortune on buying assets. You, you get your kids in the creation process. I'm really fascinated with how we can have projects where our students can show what they know, demonstrate their learning, to make it relevant to their lives. So we're gonna talk about podcasting, explainer videos, digital books, <laughs> all these great ideas.